so much. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, this year is going to be the year. Yeah. We, I really feel it that way. Thanks to your help. Uh, we have several co-sponsors, as you know. And Frank's always been our leader. You know, he's my chairman as well uh, on the Energy and Commerce Committee. He's doing a great job. So, uh, you don't hear that, that bipartisan is very much uh, here in uh, Commerce, but you always hear from me and, and Frank. Uh, folks, uh, I did go to Turkey a couple weeks ago uh, with the Humpty Dumpty Foundation. Uh, don't ask me why they call it Humpty Dumpty, but they told me it's because we bring, put things back together again. Uh, but we went for religious freedom. And uh, I visited uh, Hagia Sophia. And, uh, you know, you can't help it, but when you walk in the, the cathedral, uh, the church, uh, it, it brings tears to your eyes. It really does. A beautiful church. Uh, unfortunately, our, our Christian uh, mosaics are defaced in most cases. Uh, but again, we have uh, Harvard, I understand, and UNESCO uh, recovering those mosaics, uncovering them. Uh, and uh, it's a tough situation, and uh, we're going to fight to make sure that it is not turned into to a mosque. Uh, I don't believe that's going to happen, but you can't take it for granted either. Uh, so uh, that was one uh, one place we went to. I also went to a seminary, the Greek Orthodox seminary, that has been shut down by the Turkish government since 1971. Um, it's on the island of Halki, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to. Uh, and it's a real shame because it's ready to start up. They even have a high school there with a principal and no students. No students are allowed. Um, and uh, again, the, 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 uh, the people that were there were extremely friendly and generous and representatives from all over the world. Uh, so uh, again, we have to stick together, folks. I did visit the Patriarchate as well in Constantinople. It will always be Constantinople as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and, yeah. So we must uh, stick together and work together as a team. Uh, you know, uh, in, in Jerusalem, uh, it was a good example of that, where the Armenian uh, Orthodox uh, Christians, as well as the Greek Orthodox Christians, Catholics, and other denominations stuck together to preserve the Christian properties. Uh, and and, our, and I have the Prime Minister of Israel uh, help us with that. I think you're familiar with that. Members of the clergy know that he pulled this bill that would not have been uh, in, in the Christian uh, property owners' favors. So, uh, again, we must recognize this terrible genocide that occurred in 1915 through 1923. Uh, it's, it happened to the Assyrians, as you know as well, uh, but 1.5 million, of course, Armenians, and, and close to a million Greeks. And I had an opportunity to uh, visit some of the religious minorities over there. And they are being persecuted, folks. We must never forget that. We must never forget that they are there uh, in small numbers, about 25 hundred uh, Greek Orthodox Christians in uh, Constantinople, but uh, they, they want to preserve their, their religion and, and, their, and their language. Uh, and, and, and we must help them persevere. That is their homeland. Uh, so again, uh, you know, we're in a position as members of Congress to do something and speak out on these wonderful Christian people's behalf. And uh, I will always be there. I will always be with the Armenian people. We're cousins. We're cousins. And uh, we cousins stick together. And, and I, I'm really proud of the fact that, that I have the opportunity, again, to co-sponsor this bill, be the lead Republican. I'm very proud of that, uh, the, the Armenian genocide recognition. And I really, truly believe that this is going to be the year. 
God bless you. And I say Calista Saracosti, which is, uh, again, uh, uh, Lenten season. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Lenten season. And Calo uh, Pasca, happy Easter to everyone. Uh, a little early. God bless you. Thank you.